Secretary of State Corbea, you, uh, and question goes to you. Hi, good morning. I am so thrilled that housing is the first question because as I look on this room and it feels almost like a family reunion for me, I've worked with so many of you to address the challenges of building affordable housing from the very lowest income households to workforce housing. Uh, I did it as executive director of Housing Works where we had a coalition uh, that worked on this issue. And so, respectfully, I, you know, I know the issue. I know what we need to do, and it's to work with cities and towns, and that se the Secretary of Housing, I'm glad to see the legislation passed yesterday in the House, um, that we need a Secretary of Housing and Community Development, not at the Commerce uh, you know, Office, but rather in the Office of the Office. Because that is how important this issue is. Housing is key to solving so many of our issues, to moving agendas forward. For example, a kid who moves twice because of, of rental issues that the family's having in a school year is going to have a really hard time catching up in school. So housing is a social determinant of health. Housing is a social determinant of climate-related impact. And so we have an amazing opportunity by leading from the governor's office and really incentivizing the cities and towns to, to allow the building of housing. Because that's really what the barrier is. The money is not it. We can't fund our way out of this. We, I, as governor, will absolutely use a, a significant amount of the ARPA money, the 500 million, into building affordable homes. But that's not enough. We need to marry the support services to the very low-income housing, for example, and use our state government monies wisely. And, and I come with that knowledge. I come with that expertise. I've worked with all of you in this room to get that done. And I know that from the governor's office, we can do so much more. Thank you.